Hey, everybody. I am Manisfaction. And this is the Kaiser Grazioso. Whew! I think you're going to like this one. My beverage today is Red Powerade Zero. You know it's Fruit Punch, but everyone just says the red one. Anyway, so this right here is the Kaiser Grazioso. This is the, the Primo version. Uh, this is titanium, shredded carbon fiber. This is, uh, what is it, 20 CV? I forgot the steel all of a sudden. Yeah, 20 CV, there it is. I didn't forget. And uh, this was designed by a uh, quick-grown friend of mine, Mr. Sharif Manganis. And, uh, you know, I really like his design style. But, you know, I, I saw this knife. And people were buying it. And I was like, oh, cool. But, you know, I never did. And then we started having him on. And I was like, you know what? I really need to have something to represent him when he's on one of my lives. So uh, these went on sale. And then on top of a sale at Kaiser.com, they had a code. And uh, that took this knife from like 200 and something to 140 bucks. I couldn't say no. And that applied to all the Graziosos. There's, there's different versions. There's one that starts at 60. And they're all, they're all good. But uh, the, I couldn't pass up that titanium and carbon fiber. But uh, let's get into it. So this is a very uh, slim knife. It's a bolster lock, which I have big hands, so I appreciate that. Usually what happens is when I'm messing with a knife, I'll open it. But if you'll notice my fingers right here, and if it weren't for these scales, I would be pushing on the frame lock. So it makes, you know, some knives hard to open. But with a bolster lock, you got the scales covering part of it. And my finger doesn't push on the bar while I'm, you know, trying to open Let me see if I can find one to kind of demonstrate. Let's see here. Let me dig through some of these. Let me dig through. Let me dig through. I'm trying to show you and uh, okay here we go this is just a ZT so sometimes you know I have to think to put my hand back here so that I can open it but usually what happens is we get enough I don't think about it I push here and it becomes hard to flick but once I let go of those bars boom so that's the problem with big hands I mean uh, <clears throat> It hurts, but if I don't, if I think about it and get my hands off, boom. So for me personally, I'm kind of leaning away from frame locks now just because of that, by my gigantic hands. But a good uh, alternative is a nice bolster lock. Keeps your fingers off the lock and you still get that sweet, sweet action. And speaking of action, look at this. Drop. Whew. Drop. So when I got this, it didn't have that action. I guess in the factory, they just tightened the pivot just a little too much. So I just whoop, undid just a teeniest bit. And... Whew. And you know what the crazy thing is? This sucker's on washers. I believe that's what I was told. Washers, not bearings. But I do believe it's washers. Now I'm kind of second guessing myself when I shouldn't. I know what I was told. But now it's got me thinking. It's got me thinking. I see bearings. Okay, it's bearings. 
It's bearings. That's right. You know what? I wasn't told those washers. That was a that was a different knife. My bad. My bad. Yeah, these are bearings. I forgot. I bought new bearings for this, but I bought the wrong size. This is a six millimeter pivot. And my bearings that I bought are five millimeter. That's right. I never thought this was on washers. Yeah, this is bearings, but I mean I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna buy skips just because that action was already there. All right, let's do some size comparisons with maybe something you have. Here's a CRKT CEO. There we go. You know. Um, a lot of people have the stout, which also is a bolster lock. So there's that. I'm quickly growing to love this bad boy. And, uh, you know, let's, let's throw in something fun. Let's see. Here's the Max Ace Sandstorm. I love the CEO. But there we have it. Oh, man. I love a knife with good action. This one, though. This one kind of scares me. Guillotine. All right. So this has a nice recurve blade. A lot of people don't like recurves. I think because they don't know how to sharpen it, but they're actually quite easy to sharpen. There's really not much different. Uh, it's a nice harpoon, Woo! which I like because if you choke up, you got a place for your thumb. You could do your tasks that involve this kind of motion. Maybe your feather sticking with this for some reason. I mean, you could take this camping, but this is more of like a, I'm going to cut the steak to me. But, uh, you know, use it however you want. You can use it in various grips. But I, I appreciate that he put jimping all the way up until the uh, harpoon spot there. So your thumb tip will not get irritated. And uh, I like that the flipper has some jipping there. So when you're here, it'll keep your fingers nice and secure. But the flipper is not too intrusive. You can see just a little bit of it sticking out. And I think that's a good design. And on the other side, you get a generous amount of flipper to flip it. And it's super easy to flip. I mean, it's almost a push button. You barely have to flip it. I like the pocket clip. It goes in and out real nice. This knife is pretty light. I don't have my scale. The transition from carbon fiber to titanium is quite nice. You can feel it. If you're, you know, rubbing here, you can't. This is a perfect, but like right here, I can feel a little bit. And of course you will on the lock. My only issue that I had with this knife is when you're holding it like this, or you're messing with it, these two corners right here were super sharp. And it was digging into my palm right here. And after a while, it... Well, not even after a while, almost immediately, it was pretty uncomfortable. And you know, when you're flicking it, you can feel it. It digs in. Uh, so what I did is I just took a little bit of sandpaper, very fine, and... And you know, that was all it took. Now it's pretty smooth. But it did come sharp. You, you I was able to see a little lip. Maybe, maybe it was a fluke, I don't know. But I wasn't the only one that mentioned that. So if you do have one and it's sharp, just zap it with a little sandpaper right there. Get rid of those edges, round them out. Other than that, I mean, I wanted to find flaws with this thing, but I couldn't. I mean, it's comfortable in all styles of grips using it. The recurve is not, you know, so aggressive. 
That's nice. And it gives the blade a little flavor. You know, you could you could go, you know, the elementum way and just, you know, have a drop point. You know, very useful, but you know, very plain. This gives it a little touch of class. And like I said, sharpening recurves is pretty easy. But this is a this is a cool knife. I wanted to find flaws with it. I don't want to be like, you know, like, oh, it's perfect. And I know the guy who designed it. And uh, I honestly want to tell him to his face what problems I have. I told him about these. I don't, I want to, you know, a, a good friend would tell you what's wrong. And I wanted to find things wrong just so I'd had something to say. But I, I honestly couldn't. I mean, the carbon fiber is excellent. The titanium is excellent. The centering came perfect. The only issue I had other than that was the pivot was a little tight. Once I loosened it, I mean, it... Look at that. Look at that. I'm having a hard time keeping this one out of my pocket. And for the deal that I had, you know, with the code and everything, I couldn't pass it up. Another thing, Sharif, he specs in detent ramps. And uh, I don't know if you could see it. Let me get my flashlight. But if you see that little dip right there, that's a, that's a detent ramp he put in, in the blade. So that the ball will go up it very smooth. You barely feel that transition right there. It's very smooth. And that's a thing that helps with that action. Let's see, can you see it? I can't see my phone, but hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. But the ball just goes right up onto the blade edge, because it has that detent ramp. And you can see just the tiniest little little dip right there. So he specs that in, which I think is very cool of him. You know, I'm turning into a sucker for a, a good detent ramp. But, you know, the lock is easy to engage. The jimping is generous. The harpoon is a good shape. The recurve is subtle yet it's there to give it some pizzazz it's very pointy this thing's very sharp 20 cvs quickly becoming one of my favorite steels it's american made steel the titanium is done really well the pocket clip isn't boring it's it flows with the knife you know i just i, th I think he did a good job he did and uh you know, everything about it I like. Just, I fixed the issues I didn't. I could probably sand these down a little bit more. But, I mean, he did a bang-up job. And Kaiser knocked it out with their, with their specs and their action. I mean, anybody can make a drop shotting knife. But to make it hydraulic and controlled... That takes a that takes some skill. If you want to drop shutting knife, you just kind of make a heavy blade. But if you want it slow and controlled to where it'll fall with the turn of the knife, that takes some engineering. I think it's really good. But should you get it? Uh, yes, this one might be too expensive. Not on sale. It's two hundred something. But there's variations. There's budget versions. There's a $60 version. And then there's other flavors. There's like an Aquaman one and gold and green for another one that's not Aquaman. And, you know, there's just all kinds of stuff in between. But I think that you should have some form of Grazioso. It's really nice. Very sleek. 
I honestly looked for stuff wrong and I couldn't. This edge is nicely chamfered, so it's very comfortable. This is flush with the frame right here, and I I want to find stuff, but I can't. This, this is just, this is a bang up knife. That might not be your style. Maybe it's too long. Maybe it's too skinny. Maybe it's too light. That's okay. It's, it's a good, good gentleman's carry for me. I wouldn't use this to baton, but I'd use this to cut a steak. But that's all I got for you. This is the Kaiser Grazioso, developed by my boy Sharif. And uh, he did a very good job. Kaiser did a very good job. And this this is one of my, you know, top ten knives. Uh, I would say ever. This is just a fantastic knife. Very fidgety. But that's all I got for you. So thanks for sticking with me. And uh, I'll catch you next time.